Hi guys, really quick demo where I want to show you a little bit more on this month's theme of how to learn your key signatures, how to write your key signatures, how to practice them. And I was just experimenting to see whether a live video I could turn round to the opposite camera whilst I was doing it. Hi Terry, thanks for being here. And it turns out I can, so here we go. Whoa, look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you as if I was to, oh, there's a few people here, Helen's here, hi Kim, hi Carol. So I did a live video the other day, or perhaps the other week, where I showed you how to draw a treble clef and said that it had to start from what we call the G line, it's known as the G clef sometimes. And that's because this second line up on the stave is the, um, is the G on a treble clef. And so when we're writing the, Key signatures. Hi Alvin, thanks for being here. You start the first one, uh, if we're writing the sharp key signatures, on the top line. That top line there, can I do that? Yeah. You see the center of the sharp sign has gone through, or has gone over the line, and that's how it works. So whatever is in the central box of the sharp sign, be a line or a space, that is the line or space that's gonna get affected by that sharp sign. So if I just want an F sharp, that's how I draw the key signature for it. And if I was doing that for um, a bass clef, remember bass clef, sometimes known as the F clef, because the dot of the bass clef is on the line which is an F, if I was going to draw a one sharp key signature for that, where I've only got an F sharp, again, I need to make sure that the central box of the sharp sign has gone over the line that it's affecting. You can see that's on the second line. So that's how you draw a one sharp key signature on the treble clef and a one sharp key signature on the bass clef. You can see they're not on the same uh, line. The treble clef one is on the top line and the bass clef one is on the second line because that's an F on the treble clef and that's an F on a bass clef. And if we're only gonna have one sharp, then that is going to be F sharp. So the question is, have you learned yet which key signature has one sharp? If you have, great. If you haven't, I'll tell you for free. G major has one sharp. And the relative minor that has one sharp is E minor. And remember, every key signature narrows it down to one sharp and one, uh, sorry, to one major key and one minor key. They are relative keys, they're related keys, and they share the same key signature. And because they share the same key signature, they share the same notes. Hope that helps. Lots more to come. Please share this group, read the dots for free tips coming as many times in a week as we possibly can fit them in and lots of news stories, lots of advice on software and apps. Great free music advice. If you want to know some more, comment below and I'll send you a free trial for the Read the Dots subscription site. But until then, please share the group and invite others to join us for these free reading music tips. I want to help a thousand people this year. Take care.